Hey, good evening. How is everyone doing tonight? Are you getting all the fantastic Christmassy things done? Checking your list once, twice, four times. I need to make my list before I can check it. What is more Christmassy than a big old glass of eggnog? I love eggnog. I love the stuff that comes in the store in the carton. That's super quick and easy. However, it's full of sugar. It's full of corn syrup. It's full of thickeners that aren't doing you any favors. It, they will be thickeners for sure. So we've got a better way to do it. And it's so quick and easy. This is going to make a single serve, but you can multiply it out as big as your blender will hold or make multiple batches. Make it for the whole party. So just in case you're new, I'm Lainey. And my favorite thing to do is to help the people I love look better and feel better and have more energy by making better choices with their food, like making a better eggnog. So we are gonna start with a cup of a milk-like product. We're not gonna use cow's milk because cow's milk is liquid carbs. So unless you're a baby cow or perhaps a growing child, usually you don't need the cow's milk. So I've got some almond milk. We just need a cup. And I use the measurement thing on my blender. So I get maybe about three quarters of a cup of the almond milk. Then I put in a little bit of half and half. And because it's Christmas, a little bit of heavy cream. And that will just make it super thick and creamy. Then I throw in an egg. Now, I grew up eating the raw egg and cookie dough, and I am still here to tell the tale. If that grosses you out to have a raw egg in there, use cartoned egg whites because they are pasteurized, so you can rest easy on that. Then I go with my sweetener. I'm using two teaspoons of super sweet blend. If you want something that you can get at the grocery store, Go with pure, you might need to add a little more to make it sweet enough. Now for the flavoring. If you like rum flavoring, if you like rum, feel free to add some rum. But we're gonna just add probably around quarter teaspoon of rum flavoring, rum extract, and then about a teaspoon of vanilla. If you like more vanilla, add more vanilla. And then about a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Again, if you're not a huge nutmeg fan, you can leave it out or add more, your choice. And then, this is the one thing that's maybe a little weird. Can't get this at the grocery store. This is called glucomannan. It's a thickener. Um, I like it. You only need like a quarter teaspoon, so it lasts forever. Um, one thing you can get at a grocery store is xanthan gum. So you can use this instead. I prefer the glucomannan. Um, I bought this bag of xanthan gum off Amazon like a year and a half ago or more, and I've given some away, and I still have this much. You use that little. So, let's see. Did I get everything? I think I did. And that's it. You put the lid on, and you blend it, and it, the egg gets whipped up, and the cream, and it ends up being a fantastic thing of eggnog. Now, personally, I prefer my eggnog super duper cold. So if I have willpower, I will put it in the fridge and let it chill for an hour or two, but it's really good. So it just might get drunk right now. And that is it. Super quick and easy and much healthier for you than the stuff in the carton at the grocery store. That's it. Please feel free to share this video and go make some eggnog and celebrate the holidays. Take care, bye.